Looking for the perfect gift? We've got you covered. Stay tuned. We all dream of that perfect night's sleep. But if you're like me, sometimes you're waking up and you're just too hot, tossing around in your, in your comfort or your duvet, or maybe you're just too cold. But you know what? Today, I have something to share with you that is going to make that sleep effortless and just right, and it is Old Europe Duvet. I want to introduce you to my guest, Nicole Horn from Old Europe Duvet. Hello, Nicole. Hi. Hey, before we begin, I really want to get the story of where did Old Europe Duvet come from? My mother-in-law and my father-in-law about 30 years ago traveled to Europe and they slept under beautiful duvets in Europe and they couldn't find anything like it here in Canada so my mother-in-law started making them. She sold them to her friends and the rest is history. And the rest <laughs> is history and here we are today over 30 years later, correct? Yes, 31 this year. Wow, unbelievable. Now, what are we looking at today because you have a wide variety of duvets and they do slightly different things. Yes, they do. Um, we have three different styles of duvet. Um, we have a duvet for a very warm sleeper called a classic duvet, and I'll just show you quickly that. Um, it's a very lightweight, almost like a comforter style duvet, um, filled with white goose down again, but very lightweight. And I'm just going to put that over here. We have a Bavarian, which is our medium weight duvet. It's got a little more white goose down in it and is constructed in a little bit different fashion, but more for all season use. Um, many people like to call that our all season duvet. And then we have our Austrian duvet, which are, is our fluffiest, puffiest, um, fattest duvet, and it's filled with the most down. So it's going to be your warmest and coziest duvet. And something you do a little bit differently, tell me about the, the way that it's constructed, because you make your duvets a bit different with tunnels. We do. We're constructed in a tunnel um, with a baffle or a wall in between each of those tunnels. I can show you the, t the actual baffle. On either side of the duvet, you can see there's a wall sewn between each of those tunnels. And that allows the duvet to puff up to its maximum potential. The down actually is allowed to float around freely inside of the duvet, which gives you actually your insulating properties of the down. Um, if you are confined to a square constructed duvet, the down is only going to puff up to that amount, whatever that square size is. Right, so tunnels, very, very good. Yes. And let's talk about down itself. What is so special about the down that you use? The down that we use is very high quality down. We have different arrays of down qualities. We have a 600 loft, a 700 loft, and an 800 loft down, which I know probably doesn't mean a lot to the lay person. Um, but as you go up in the loft number, it actually increases the quality of the down and it also makes the down duvet a little bit warmer. And the best thing about down is it conforms to temperature, right? It keeps you cool in the summer, warm in the winter. It and does. can you show me, what does it look like? I can show you what down looks All like right. right here. This is an 800 loft down and I'll take it out of the jar very And carefully. away it goes. <laughs> that's, how, that's how beautiful it is. That is how fluffy it is. If you can see... I'll try to hold it very still. That's what down looks like. So it's not the feather that we're talking about here. It's actually the down, which is a different product of the goose or the duck that we're talking about. Now, you will notice on each of the pillows that we have on our beautiful, luxurious, heavenly bed here, there is a blue label on the pillows. What does that mean? That means that we are allowed to put this label on because we are members of the Down Association of Canada. We meet or exceed quality standards in the industry in Canada, so we are allowed to put that label on. And w in fact, when you're buying any Down product, you su should be looking for that label. So we don't have the feathers or the quills that, you know, you get the pillows that you might buy in the department store and they kind of poke you in the head. Yeah, no pokies. <laughs> no pokies. <laughs> Tell me about the down uh, that we have in our jars. Over in the jars on the other side of the bed, there are two jars filled with exactly the same amount of down. It's a quarter ounce of down, both white goose down. One jar is filled with a lower quality down and the other jar is filled with our 600 loft white goose down quality. So you can see... 
people say you're getting white goose down, but it, the quality of the white goose down is what really makes a difference. And you know what, I can attest, because when I met Nicole, I too now am sleeping on a cloud, because I started off with your pillows. And speaking of that, you offer how many different types of pillows? Because you do customized work. It's yeah. <laughs> sky's the limit. Standard pillows, we, are, we have 19 different kinds of sleeping pillows, but we do custom work. We can custom size, we can custom fill. We have white goose down, we have duck down, and we have 50-50, half feather, half down. And so with about the 19 different types of pillows, we're talking about soft, medium, medium firm, firm, fills. Depending on what the customer wants, we'll fill it to what they want, but those are our standards, yeah. And you literally fulfill orders. I've been to your warehouse, I've been to your home factory, and Nicole has a map there uh, and a <laughs> pin board really of all the places she has shipped duvets and pillows and it is around the world. It's Truly. astounding. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. So <laughs> you are helping everyone to have a beautiful night's sleep and if you too want to feel like you're sleeping in a cloud, well all you have to do is head on over to Nicole's website. Visit the website. Of course it is olduropeduvet.com and you too will feel like you're sleeping on a cloud. Thanks Nicole. Thank you.